Hey, this is JR Pinto Sui and welcome to Yakas. <laughs> Hey guys, Jarre Pinto Sui here and uh, Kari is behind the camera working on his uh, own uh, Opel Safira and uh, this is our latest purchase uh, you can see here it's uh, 20 turbo no it's not 20, it's 2.0 turbo uh, let me show you around it's a Saab 900 98 model year black with tan interior very stylish, just like the Audi A8, which is over there. You can see it on another, another clip. Uh, post a link up here. Boop. Um, as you can see here, very nice, very nice. Uh, tan cloth interior. Uh, this is some really cool, probably very expensive wooden panel and uh, can light up the key here speedometer it says focus please focus 475,000 kilometers which is roughly like almost 300,000 miles so yeah when you see that the interior is good that's kind of surprising and the uh, climate control and uh, fully functioning blah 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 just some warning lights okay clear set and then uh, you have black panel where everything dims down electric windows and like I said it's got a turbo See it? Turn it off. Ah, have you seen it? Got the key here. Hmm. Weird. Looks pretty stock. No open air filter like in that piece of crap Audi. Everything looks stock. Uh huh. There's a... Oh, okay. Carrie, I can see why they... Uh, why you can hear the blow-off well so loud. Dump ventilen. I think this hose is supposed to be attached to that. Yes. <laughs> so that's why you can hear it. Because normally uh, I think it's supposed to blow back. Yes. But now it just blows out. So, uh, yeah. But runs good. Uh, the second uh, gear is kind of fiddly. Some, sometimes it scrapes all. Well, it scrapes all the time. So um, yeah, we actually bought this at an auction site for a thousand crowns, which is what I don't know, maybe somewhere around hundred dollars or some more. Yeah. So. Uh, We've done a uh, goofing around and now we're gonna take it apart. Um, we're gonna remove the ignition cassette or what do you call it? Ignition coil spring or something. Uh, the turbo, once it cools off, injectors. Um, we already sold some of the interior parts and we're gonna take off the doors because some guy wanted them. All the doors. Uh, what was else? Yeah, the throttle cable, um, computer, some kind of computer box. So, yeah, we got some stuff to do. But uh, I wish we had the <laughs> temperature gauge here. <laughs> hmm. Warm, warm up my hands. Yeah, also, let's get to it.
Maybe you can use the crowbar. Or maybe that one. A <laughs> fun and crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this tool. Well, anyway, uh, we're gonna remove the turbo and we remove the intercooler and uh, the radiator. And we're gonna remove the generator or the alternator, not generator. Um, we removed everything in here. And uh, what else? Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So we're almost done with this one. Then we're gonna tow this one to the scrapyard and uh, bring in the other one that we just bought today. So um, yeah, keep watching. Fun, isn't it? Huh? It's kind of fun. Yes. Well, we don't have any dash or anything, but uh, whatever, we can do burnout. It's a kind of a shame that it only locks one of the rears, so yes. you can't uh, get it to stand still. Maybe we should take a chain and uh, <laughs> attach to the hook, the trailer to a light hose or something. But uh, you want to go scrap it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's scrap this car. Det är en av de bakgårdor till och med på Det där skulle man ju dra i hamnronsen samtidigt när vi är typ sådana. Mm. 